So in today's video we're going to be learning how to create our swale in flow. Now what are swales? Swales are basically depressions in the ground that allow us to carry water from point A to point B. Also swales, I personally use them when my levels from the, let's say, inlet to the outlet, I don't have much fall to play with. So I need as, to carry the water as flat as possible or when you can uh, act as an extra storage if you're limited with the space like let's say you have the storage tank i actually never been on a site where you're limited on a space and you go like oh let me pull as well that will solve the problem but yeah you get the gist so now if you're new to the channel i upload weekly tutorials on civil engineering topics so if you are a civil engineer hit the subscribe button so you can stay notified otherwise we have a website where you can ask any civil engineering questions and other civil engineers and myself included, we can answer those questions for you. So basically, I'm trying to build a community where each engineer helps each other. So that, I suppose that's a good thing to start. Now, without further ado, let's begin. So let's cut to the chase. We have a simple network. So we have the manhole one, start of swale, end of swale, outfall, and all two. Oh, wait, the other way around. We have the manhole one, manhole two, start of swale, end of swale, and the outfall. If you haven't watched my previous videos on how to create a network, then just I'll suggest you to watch them. So we have here our nodes S1, S2, swale entrance, swale exit, outfall. Typing the name swale does not transform it into swale. Although that would be a good idea. Causeway, look into it. So we kept it simple regarding the easting and northings we gave it a simple diameter and cover levels so that's our long section over here at the bottom let's lift it up there you go and now because what we're doing is a swale basically is a pipe it's a link it connects two nodes which are our manholes that's why uh, causeway smartly named them nodes and links because nodes are points links is what connects the nodes so since swell connects two nodes, then we have to do something with links. Now to do that, we need to go into our link types, which is in the libraries. Now I already have these predefined uh, links, so you can see them as you can see here, like channel three, five, V, deform, trench, one-sided, two-sided, car park, etc. I will leave that file in the link in the description below. So basically there is a public Google Drive path, so you can download it and use it for your own projects. But we're gonna design a swale now. We have here already a one in three swale, but we're gonna do a new one. So let's do, so let's say swale and just leave it as swale. You can add always one in three. And the shape, it's a trapezoidal shape because that's what swales are at the end of the day are. So the width is the width at the bottom of the swale. So once we put the width, the diameter acts as the height. So for the height, we're going to leave it, let's say, well, uh, one meter. Now the auto increment, we're going to leave it 10. The side slopes are, let's say, one in three. You see the X here. So one in three. Preferred cover, we're gonna leave it as blank. Steep slope, let's say we wanna have the steepest as like, let's say 300. We want it to follow the ground. The velocity was, will not be set at default. What this default means, it actually means that it will get the previous velocity of the previous link and follow that one. So if the previous velocity was, let's say, Colbrook White, then it will follow with Colbrook White. But since swells have their own kind of velocity, we have to specify it. Now, I did some digging around, and if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm mistaken uh, by leaving a comment in the below, it's 0 0.03. So basically, that value defines how fast the water flows through that surface. Since it's grass, I think 0 0.03 is the correct one. Now, since we defined the swale, all we have to do is the following. We have to go back to our links, and what we have to do is specify the links. So if we bring our plan so you can see here we have this link 1.002 this is the link that we will define as well to do that we have to click the plus button on the top right hand corner and select the 1.002 link and change the link type to swale now once you click somewhere else it will automatically update it 
And if we bring in the plan, you can see it transformed into swell. Now, it also uh, made the swell exit to our full link as a swell as well. Now, the reason it did that is because the swell exit link type is set as default. Now, what did I tell you about default? When a link type or a manhole is set as default, it follows the previous uh, manhole or link properties. So, therefore, we need to change that link type into circular because that's what we want unless we want something else. So, if we go back to plan, you can see it change it to a pipe. So, now let's go view at the 3D. You can see that's the 3D view of the swell which is what you want now the diameter here signifies the height so the higher we do it the higher this row will be so as you can see here it steepens actually let's split the screen so we can do it and let's go to the diameter and let's change it that to one meter so you can see it changes the the height but it does not change the width to change the width, we have to go back to the link types and adjust the width for us. So to adjust the width, let's say we want it 1000, so millimeter, one meter. And if we just click somewhere else, it will automatically update it for us. So just to note, when you type your value, you have to click somewhere outside to automatically update it. So as you can see here, update it. Now, if we go back to our links and change, let's say the diameter, to back to let's say 500 you can see it adjusts appropriately and that is how you design your swell it was quick and easy video wasn't it what i will do is i'll leave a link for this file in the description below it's a google public path so you can download it from there and you can access these as well but i would suggest to follow the exercise just so you can know how to do it now Causeway provided me with these ones and they added preferred cover. They added a 0 0.01. That is so we can ensure that it's as close as possible to the ground, follow ground. See, they tick the follow ground. Now we've got the size slope auto increment. Not sure if the auto increment increases by a more area we add, but if we do, it will add by 10 millimeters. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, obviously. And if you loved it, hit the subscribe button and share it with your colleagues so they can learn how to design their swell and flow so they won't come and ask you and waste five, 10 minutes of your precious time. Although helping others is always good. But if you're really busy, you have deadlines, then you need those extra 10 minutes because you don't want to stay after half five, right? Other than that, stay safe and I'll see you next time.